you are looking at uh, Wonderama as it looks to the director in the control room. This is looking through the mirror at the backs of the children to our cameras on the floor toward my set. Now, we are in the control room and we shall swing a camera around now and show you what goes on in here. Now, remember, this is some place, this is a place where you're not normally allowed to enter even if you come down to visit us in person. Now, right in front of us are the gentlemen, the director, the assistant director, the technical director. Let's go on over here and find out what they do to keep this show on the air as you are now seeing it. Let's move down here and first let's take a look at the, um, uh, first of all, this is, this right over here is Johnny, uh, uh, no, excuse me, Marty Rosenblatt, our assistant director, and this is Artie Forrest, our director. Now, right in front of these gentlemen are a series of what we call monitors. Actually, they're just like the television sets you have at your home. Now, we have here three different pictures that we are looking at simultaneously. As you know, we have three cameras. This is for camera one. This is for camera two. I may be wrong, Artie, about this sequence, but it doesn't matter. This is for camera three. Now, each one has a different picture, and it is up to the director to decide which picture he wants to put on the air. As, at the moment, we now have the camera that's in the control room, and this, right over down yonder here, is the air monitor. This is the picture that he has selected out of the three. Now, when our director wants to pick a picture, another picture other than the one he has now, he will tell our technical director, Johnny Giordano over here, and Johnny will press the appropriate button. Now, let's see, which, Artie, which picture? Should we take a picture of the children out there? Yes. Pay right. right, Bert, please. All right. All right, now stand by one. Have the kids wait, Paul. All right, stand by one and take one. Now, you see, this is the shot that is currently on the other one that you're watching. Now, if we want to come back, we can do it not only, wait a minute, let's do it in a dissolve. A dissolve means that gradually one picture fades and the other picture comes in. Now, let's come back in the studio. Three, dissolve. And gradually we come back over here again. And so the director is constantly looking at all his shots and deciding which one, and while he's deciding which one he wants, his assistant director is trying to set up the next shot for him. Come on down here a little further, and let's see if we can, uh, can you squeeze past there? Uh, there we go. Come on down, I want to show you a little bit more. Uh, this is the panel of buttons and levers that the technical director uses to put the shots on the air. Now, above him is our slide and film chain. This, for instance, is a Wonderama talent search slide, which we use, as you know, from time to time on our show. That's coming from downstairs on the second floor. Let's super this. I know it's not a super slide, but let's not lose us. Let's super this over us and show you how we can use it. All right? Ready? Get up to the air picture, Bert, and then super. Anyway. Now, you see, we can put two pictures on the air at one and the same time. Or we can put this one on the air entirely. And uh, I can pull the slide, John. Or come back completely to us. Right. Now, sitting alongside uh, John Giordano is our lighting director, Johnny Hartnett. And Johnny is the man who speaks to the people out on the floor and tells them what to do with the lights. Now, for instance, let's um, uh, perhaps... Uh, Hands to the, the monitors, Bert. Right. The All right, let's just bring the lights down, if we may, uh, on the children. I uh, take down 10, 11, and 12. Yep. And you see how much darker it got. All right, now let's bring them up again. Bring them up again. And on the floor, our uh, stagehands are following the lighting cues. Now, way around here in the corner, if we can squeeze around there, we're not finished with the control room by any means yet because <clears throat> we have our video operators. Video, of course, is a Latin word for um, the visual, for the things that you see. And um, right in here, is John Ravano, our video director, and he is looking at all the same pictures that the director is looking at, and his, he's in charge of making sure the picture is going out the best quality it can possibly go out. Now, he, to do this, he shades light or dark, somewhat the same you can do in your own set, only he does it here with more controls. For instance, he can make, he can make that uh, go darker now. Johnny, why don't you make it, the picture just go a little darker now? All right, now make it go lighter. Camera one, John, so we can see it on three. There we go. You see the way the picture, and he has, he follows little graphs down in here, this little oscilloscope, which shows him just exactly how much he should shade his pictures. Now, that's going on all the time we're on the air, too. For instance, when we go to film, he has a hard job making sure the film quality comes out to be the same as the live quality. Now, let's move back in here again, if we may, and show you the audio man who sits in another small booth behind the director.
Sonny. Yeah, we, we, have to, we have to work in here. Of course, this is not a place, really, where television cameras normally can come. So we have to work our way back and forth here very slowly. Now, Artie Nelson is our, our um, sound man, and uh, he sits behind there, and all of sound that goes on, there he is, stand up and say hello, <laughs> right. In that console in front of Artie, he controls my microphone, the microphone's on the floor. Anytime we want anybody to hear anything, he's the man who does it, plus putting on the records, the music, the theme music, things of that sort. Now, that's only part of the story here in the control room. Downstairs on the second floor, we have our, our, our projector, projection men, our slide men, we have our tape room, and all of these people all over the building working to make sure Wonderama gets on the air for your enjoyment each and every week. Next time you watch television, think of all the things that are going on behind the scenes, and you can marvel at what a wonderful uh, kind of teamwork it takes to produce any kind of a television program.